โอ yep that absolutely not walk it down walk it down you just mentioned it oh yeah I didn't know you were into action movies that one was a masterpiece uh-huh pretty awesome Lucky you. That series is really cool. I feel like j u r o s kinds of different kaiju. If you love movies that much, you should check out this drama series. What's it about? You've never seen it before? You're so interesting, Fuyasaka-san. Oh my god! That girl. I hope she turns out to be a witch. <laughs> okay. We got the dark jealousy going on. Girl, low key was like, "Oh, give me an excuse to shoot her." Excuse me. Oh, Yakushiji. So you and that girl, looks like you two are pretty close. What are you talking about? More importantly, why are you talking to me? We'd get expelled if they knew we were living together. That's why we decided not to talk to each other at school. Oh. Yeah, that sucks. That didn't feel good. So you're back. I didn't go to the place he told me to go to. I did it on purpose. Let's talk to him about it. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't meet you in the passageway. Just a silly promise you made to a cat, huh? Not surprising that a human would forget. <sighs> I apologize. I guess saving Juro Izumi just isn't important to you. That's not it at all. Then I'd better see you tomorrow. The cat has very strong grimoire vice snark to him. I'm amused that I can do this. The oh, hell, he's coming. All right, listen up. I'll be waiting for you after school. You better not forget. I didn't forget. I specifically avoided you. Juro. Oh, hey, Yokushiji. Man, movie's still not on. More extra innings. This is just not happening, is it? <sighs> Sorry, I know it's late. I'll make some dinner. It's fine. Don't worry about it. But you can't just skip dinner. I already got ramen with Amiguchi-kun earlier. You're still growing. If ramen's all you eat, you won't get the kind of nutrition you need. That okay? Just leave me alone. That is a mom line. Like she's right, but no 16 y e a r o l d kid wants to hear that from another 16 y e a r o l d kid. I think I just looped. I 
thought we agreed not to be seen together. That's why we've been leaving it to meeting like this. Should we start? <sighs> You're missing the point. Oh. Yeah, it's. Yo. It's not so much a bad end, so much as we just didn't do the thing, so the story didn't advance. We just got a loop. There is a skip button. Found it. I'll say it again. After school, old building passageway. Got that? Yeah, we do it. I wonder if we're going to get more, uh... I mean, the only thing about the decision-making is that with us being able to literally just jump around like this, um, nothing is final, so we just get to see everything. So it is actually like zero the escape. Asked me to carry this stuff. From the Not seeing them today, so I guess we're gonna go shoot some fools. I have to go. Fluffy's waiting for me. Maybe you should call him something else now. That's a lot of messages, Rolt. Um. Why do you have 14,000 messages and game ideas? Huh? There's nobody here. Why are you hiding? That should be a different cat. Kitty, kitty. kitty. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> yes, I agree, Teller. Some of these have to end in bad things. Huh? But you were just over there. All right, crazy. Come on, it's time to work. Uh -uh. Yeah, no, that is kind of weird, though. The next witch is inside the old building. Okay. He's a boy with short hair. Amiguchi. School uniform with no buttons. So I just shoot him, and his powers will be sealed, right? Uh huh. Now there could be one small sealed. Hit He's got a very not magical gun, and he might use it on you. That seems like a pretty big hiccup to That's me. That's a big hiccup! Well, in case you've never been shot before, it hurts. So... Oh. That, yeah, you're right. That sounds like A. Which ain't great, because he already expects everyone to be a spy. Gone. Is the gun actually real? What do you get out of here already? That, you know what? Bro, that, that is a reasonable... That's a reasonable and understandable uh, course of action. She got ready for this. How badly would it hurt if I were to be shot? 
Pretty bad. Maybe don't go waving that thing around before anyone sees you. No, we're just gonna keep it out? Okay, cool. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he does have a phaser gun. I mean, as long as he's still set to stun. I wonder if I were to die, would Juro even cry for me? At this point, I'm not sure. It kind of feels like he wouldn't. He's not here. Well, I didn't check any of the classrooms. Like, I was gonna do it. I just wanted to see the end of the hallway. <laughs> I strongly feel like the best way to approach this is to put the damn gun away because like you're just some random schoolgirl right now like he would have no reason to, to like he'd have no reason to suspect you we're still on rails Not here. There's no one here. Maybe he made a mistake. Maybe you made a mistake. Stomping around with your gun out like that. Thank you! You're not sneaking up on anyone that way. So you've been hiding. You're from Sector 3. What? You're from back then. So you're the one. You're one of Juro's friends. What are you doing here? It doesn't concern you. I don't think this was your idea. It wasn't. Who are you being used by? I'm fine with being used. We're shooting them in a way that we assume to be non-lethal. Um... Because a, because a rude cat told Wait. us to. That's literally all we know. Dude was like, Hey, your boyfriend sure. lost all of his Where memories. You? Your boyfriend lost all his memories. Um, I can help you, but you have to do whatever I want. Our working theory is that the magical the magical gun gives you the sentinel there. activation thing. Oh hey. I need 
need you to stay. Please. Oh, we're doing this so scene dark. now. I can't see your face. Why? Why did you get in that sentinel? You knew this is what would happen. No. I wanted to protect. Mamoru! What was important to you? I wanted to... Hey, robot. Oh, hi. For one sentinel to do all this? Unbelievable. Please, you have to help him. The moment you enter the sentinel, you inflict irreversible damage to your brain. Ah! Your memory is destroyed. In worst case, you become a husk. Oh! Just being inside for a few minutes can be fatal. Izumi endured that pain. This is new information! For over two hours. He displayed incredible strength, but you understand, don't you? It's too late for him. That's what happened. That's why he lost all of his memories. Are you from the future too? There was a time I fought alongside him. So you're one of his comrades, and yet you won't even try. Please, there must be something you can do. Izumi was a dependable and true ally. I will mourn this loss as well. <laughs> this is so... We're we're playing we're playing games with the timeline here. Um This yeah, this was definitely before. The timelines just kind of go where they go. Ah. Unlock condition unseal 6 mystery files. All right, um, what do we feel like now? I feel like we should probably... Okay. We should probably see where A's, uh, story goes from here. Looks like I've lost them for now. So A was on the run from literal men in black. So, amnesia being such a common thread in all of these, it makes a lot of sense that, um, it makes a lot of sense that they would have to have some reason why it's like this. And so, that like, we've already seen that all of these characters get into the mechs. They all get into the Sentinels. Apparently... That fries your brain so you can't remember anything. And so that's why we have to piece everyone's stories back together. Also, yes, look at these drunks. Giant mechs because Japan, Ralt. I should stay near the station where it's crowded. Now, I should sort out my thoughts. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have a lot of thoughts. The note says 443-685-3214. Four, 
What could it mean? A password of some sort? Yeah, the enemies have been referred to as kaiju. They've been referred to as aliens. Um, it's probably something else entirely. Maybe it's a car key. Well, I suppose kaiju is broad enough where it could still be true. Oral NM C0204 is printed on the label. The bottle's made of plastic. There's nothing inside. As long as it's set to stun, it won't kill anybody. But it's strange. Why do I know how to use this? There's also something I've noticed. Um, they're playing with a lot of stuff in this series that seems to go beyond homage. Um, dude here's got a phaser set to stun, not kill. Uh, Megumi's got her whole Madoka Magica thing going on. Um, like, Natsuno is playing out a whole E.T. storyline. We've made reference to Star Wars. We've made, like, we've made reference to Godzilla. Like, Juro is way into, like, kaiju movies. I feel like that's... I, it's starting to feel like this is not just a theme. This might actually be a theme. This might actually end up being a story beat for some reason. I don't really have anywhere else to go with that. It's just a thought that I have. Receiver for communication purposes. It has a very limited range. So I'm from another world. I said so in that message to myself. I mean, Must have still had oh yeah, time left. travel is very, very big a thing. A way to escape this world. But they're also considered to be like, we've also talked about dimensional travel and another world. And it's not entirely clear if what we're talking about is like disparate timelines from the multiple time jumps or if there are actually like or if there's something else going on where there's just different dimensions. Like basically, are the are the alternate worlds just representations of the same world in an alternate timeline? Or is it like bigger and more different than that? A note that was included with the files on Mori Mori. We don't know. It says, if capture is not possible, then shoot to kill. Did I kill her? Did someone order me to do it? Dude here woke up in an alleyway next to a dead woman and a gun and um, is thinking that maybe he shot the hot doctor. Details about the dead woman I found. She but we don't know. 31. Sakura High School nurse. Sakura High School. Isn't that where the ID card came from? Sakura High School, <clears throat> Class 1B. Iori, <clears throat> Excuse me. She definitely looks familiar. But from where? Why can't I remember? The note says... 44368... What could it mean? That's... Maybe if I find this Fuyusaka person, I'll finally remember something. Come in. Oh, hey. Are you there? Uh. Let's check out the communication device. Oh, wow, they're actually talking to me. Which is interesting because... I grabbed this off another dude, I thought. I'm not your enemy. That sounds like the cat. I know you can hear me, Sekigahara. Don't be a fool. I mean, advance the story.
Who are you? I think that's the cat. Just a friend who's trying to help out. A friend? I didn't expect you to be so thorough. Regardless, you handled the Morimura assignment well. So you're the one who wrote those instructions. I can't remember anything. That's exactly why I've contacted you. Okay. Listen, it's not safe out there. Don't trust anyone. Anyone? Including you? That was my question. Better to be too careful than too careless. Otherwise, you'll never escape from this world. Escape? In the meantime, just stay put and don't go far. I'll see what I can do about your pursuers. Escape from this world. Hear from me again soon. Is this all about, like, jumping away from the doomed timeline? Disconnected. to trust anyone and that includes him that was good to me let's go somewhere an old-fashioned phone maybe the note is a phone number could it be a phone number I see you, Rolt. It was not a phone number. Or at least it's not a phone number anymore. We tried. <laughs> something I don't. All right, let's go find Iori Fuisaka. Once day breaks, I'll pay a visit to the school. <laughs> Sounds like school just started. At which point, I I'm guess... So to drop by the track room first. Atsuno, what's on your face? Mm. No sign of her. <gasps> Akun. What? Yori Fuyusaka. Yeah, it's nice. It, it lets you it lets you pursue your uh, it lets you pursue pursue your little red herrings, even when they're like not real. I seen you in days. Wait, days. I couldn't stop thinking about you. Oh. But now, I'm just relieved to see her safe. Hey, what's up? Ah, oh, my head. <laughs> it feels like there's been a sudden rush of blood out of it. Seems like we're close, very close, but I can't trust anyone. That's fair. For now, I'll act like I remember her. I want to hear what she has to say first. Yeah, I, <laughs> let's let's talk to Iori Fuyasaka about Iori Fuyasaka. Iori, was there something you wanted to tell me? Huh? Well, like I said before. I still like you. Oh! Oh, he left a confession hanging. He also just like straight up went first name no honorific there. 
Even if it is one-sided. Um. Hey, I have your ID card. This belong to you. Oh, that's my student ID. I thought I'd lost it, but I'm glad you were there to find it for me. Thank you. I yeah, that is a thing that I did on purpose. Definitely. Hey, do you have pills? Hold on a second. I feel like we should not be asking about that. Let's ask about Do these it. These pills belong to you. Pills? No. No? <gasps> Excuse hey, me? Aren't those the pills you've been taking? Oh, my mistake. These are mine. What are they for? Are you sick? I'm fine. It's nothing to worry about. Yeah, I'm just taking pills, but can't remember why, but I'm definitely okay. Hey, what was the deal with Morimura? She's, Morimura? She's the school nurse here, right? Huh? Yeah, she is. What about her? <sighs> what if... <sighs> Ever since that day, she hasn't come back to school. Could something have happened? That's not good! Which day? The day I heard about Miss Morimura's secret. Uh, I'm sure she's fine. I definitely didn't shoot her in an alley. Definitely. Shihiro Morimura, a key member of Shikishima's weapon development team. The one I found dead. Morimura's secret. We must accept our fate. Huh? What? Where did that come from? That's not good. Okay, he's gone. Thanks. You look awfully happy about me suddenly hiding from a man in a black suit and sunglasses. Oh no! My first class is about to start! Oh. What will you do now, Akun? I'm gonna pay a visit to the nurse's office. But those men, won't they be on campus too? Eh. <clears throat> Why don't you meet me here after school's out? I'll show you where to go. All right. She does know something. <clears throat> I'll see you later. This is all just a question of like, eventually everybody knows everything. But like, where are we? Where are we seeing these characters? And at what like at what point in their story are they interacting with each other? We must accept our fate. <clears throat> That's what Chihiro Morimura said. It's hazy, but I think I remember. Oh, is this going to be uh, is this going to be leather cat suit Morimura? It sure is. Vanilla Ware does not know how to stop. So this is where you've been. Figured I'd give the area an advanced survey. Quite the view. Worth taking in one last time. Excuse me. Like. I just want to like. Quite the view, he says. Hang on, I'm going to get this. Quite the view worth taking in. Right. Right. 
I just wanted to point out exactly where his eyes were fixated. I expect there to be considerable damage. We weren't prepared for them in Sector 1. There was nothing we could do. But not this time. We will fend them off. I certainly hope so. We've managed to prepare 19 Sentinels. That's not the name and of the we've game. Positive results in our battle simulations. That won't mean much if our enemies have evolved. Evolved, you say? Ultimately depends on luck. So let's assume we're met with the worst case scenario. If we fail this time, we'll perform another loop. And we'll start over from the very beginning. Oh, -ho. I have a greater chance of success that way. Even if it means leaving this world behind? No. No more running away. If we don't settle this here, then I'm initiating Operation Aegis. So you intend to close the loop then? If you do, no one will be able to leave. At the very least, we'll survive. You expect us to grow old and die in this godforsaken place? When that time comes, we must accept our fate. In any case... Yes. If we win now, we can avoid such an outcome. Then we'll finally be able to leave this world and... <sighs> Sekigahara -kun. What are you doing here? How long have you been standing there? Long enough to hear about loops? Yeah, it's big plot, so understandable. For the 2064 battle. I don't know who you people are or where you came from. And frankly, I don't care. Just as long as you can defend my city from the kaiju. Without retreating, that is. You'll be the one in the Sentinel protecting the city. We're counting on you. She's well, even like I assume you have some questions for me. Her outfit is even squeaking as she walks. There's something I need to confirm. If I keep my end of the bargain, then you're going to stop using Ryoko Senpai, right? Ryoko? Stand. I never had any intention. Who the hell's Ryoko? But I'll try to be more careful going forward. That sounds like the voice of someone who is lying. For the Sentinels you want command over, you require third generation machines, right? Correct. Then I'll update their systems as promised. Though I have to ask, why are you having me do this? Wouldn't it be faster to go directly through Morimura? I believe a shift in the chain of command is in order. And I'd like it to be done without her knowledge. Okay. Depending on how the situation unfolds, there's a possibility she may resort to drastic measures. Is that what she was just talking about? Right. This Operation Aegis? <laughs> That's right. Operation Aegis. What is its purpose? The enemy's main target is the underground mainframe. Mm-hmm. Each terminal is equipped with a self-defense protocol. Hmm. However, the enemy's attacks seem to bypass it. So the moment they strike, uh -huh. we'll hack the terminal. Oh. This will activate the defense protocol. The Aegis system. Isn't that a good thing? Not exactly. Doing so will render our time machine useless. And that means we can never start over again. Oh! What's so bad about that? It doesn't matter as long as we succeed, right? Time will cease to flow in this world. Whoa! When it does, everything will descend into chaos. And in the end, we'll be the only ones left behind in this hellscape. <sighs> Oh.
Oh, I see. Oh, I don't actually have any more mystery points. Okay. I thought I did. All right. So when we... When we do the battles and we're up and we're like... We're firing off all of those... Uh, all of those giant EMP waves... We are also closing time loops. All right. <laughs> see that? See how things are going with the Ori. 